All right, folks. Today on episode of Scotty's Barkyard Barbecue, we got these beautiful, thick, short ribs. Look at these meaty things. Come from my local butcher shop, Rice Lake Butcher Shop. If you're in the local area, stop by and check them out. Look at them things are meaty. They gotta be at least three inches, two inches thick or so. Beautiful looking ribs, folks. Yeah. Wow, look at that chunk of meat on them. Yep, some beautiful four bone short ribs. We're gonna trim these up, get most of this off so the rub and stuff sticks to it. What you wanna do is get a nice uh, bone and knife, really sharp. I'll trim these up and we'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Trim these up. Nice sharp knife. I want to save this, folks. Makes good sausage. There, folks. I was trimming these up. You see, when you trim the fat off, you got this silver skin under here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you want to get that off. Silver skin ain't good eating. And you also want your rub to stick. So just take your knife underneath the silver skin and get that off of there. Yeah. That way you don't want. You don't really want. That's not good eating. Plus it doesn't, your rub won't stick to it. Alright, I'll get all this cleaned up and we'll be right back, okay? Alright folks, here we go. <clears throat> Got them all trimmed up here, folks. Got a little bit of pocket of fat here, we're not going to mess with that too much. That's fine, got all the silver skin off. Got a good base for our rub, make a nice bark. If you don't know what the silver skin is, Silver skin is this really tough stuff that lies under the fat. It's not good eating. It's hard to chew and nothing. It's just take it off. I got all that off. The little pockets of fat here I'm not going to mess with. Nice, I guess a nice base for your rub. Make some nice bark. Got a few pounds of fat here. Nothing goes to waste guys backyard. I'll freeze this and put this in my sausage in the next coming video. Alright folks, we'll get this stuff up. See that silver skin? Tough. Not good eating folks. Get that off of there. Alright, we'll clean this mess up. We'll be right back with the rub. Hey guys, let's recap what we did. <clears throat> we trimmed these all up, the beef ribs. I saved all the fat. I'm going to make good sausage with this in another video. Took all the silver skin off, got the fat down. We got salt, pepper, garlic on this one. We got the Weber, the Weber rub. This is very good stuff here, folks. You gotta try that. For this one here, we are going to use the uh, Gravity Fed Master Built 560. We're gonna start it off at about 225 for about three hours. And then we're gonna spritz a little bit. Then we're gonna kick it up to about 275 and let it ride dead the rest of the way until we get an internal temperature about 205. I'll probably wrap them around 170 or so in uh, butcher paper and we'll put them back on, let them run all the way until they probe like butter. All right, folks, about an hour we have sunrise. I'm gonna let these set up at room temperature and I'll go out and fire up the master belt and we'll put them on. I'll be right back, folks. Hey, come on, folks. We'll go get them ribs, put them on. Hey, it's about 32 degrees out here. We got some snow coming. I'll go inside and get those ribs. Be right back, folks. Okay, folks. We have reached a magical number of 225, and we'll put the ribs on. See if I can bring you in closer, folks. Hey, we Either the Weber rub. Salt, pepper, garlic, folks. Oh. 
probe. I'll put it in. I hardly ever use a probe, but we'll put it in here. Okay, we'll check back in three hours, see how they look. Alright folks, it's been three hours now, holding good, 225. Whoa, look at that babies. Get a load of that. I know as you hear the fan just come on, I open the door up. <laughs> nice, beefy, short ribs from my local shop. Got a little pullback action going on already. You pick these meaty beasts up at the Rice Lake Butcher Shop. Support your own local shop or whatever town you live in. All right, we'll spray these. It's just, just water, folks. Not too much. I don't want to cool the meat off too much. Uh, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. <clears throat> All right, it's just your normal, basic, master-built 560 with no mods. It works just fine without mods. I only use this once or twice a month. I got all these other Webers I use. <clears throat> now we're going to kick this up to about 2... 75. I'm gonna let her run from there, folks. Hey, right, we'll check back in about another hour. See what they're doing. Hey, right, folks, got them all wrapped up. Go we'll shut this door up. Take your picture real quick. All right, check back in a couple hours. See how they're doing. I'm leaving at 275. We'll be right back, folks. Let me get that bear bottle. My body by brisket shirt. <laughs> Alright guys. Been in about five and a half, six hours. I'm gonna probe it. See where we're at. I wrapped them. We're at about 180, folks. About 180, 185. They got a long ways to go, folks. We'll check back in another hour or so. See how they're doing. <laughs> Alright, folks. They're just about done. Probing about 198. We're gonna pull these off, let them rest, and we'll slice them up. Boy, they smell amazing. All right, folks, we'll be right back. All right, get a load of them big babies. Woo! They turned out nice. Let's see how they taste, folks. Beautiful. Not bad, folk. Alright, let's recap what we did. We got them. We trimmed them. We got the silver skin off. We uh, rubbed them down with salt, pepper, and garlic on this one. And Weber rub on the other one. We smoked them for three hours for at 225. And then I wrapped them, let them go for another, probably about four hours actually at 275 until they probed about 200, 198 and I pulled them off, let them rest. And this is what you get folks. There you go. Let's cut one open folks. Yeah. 
meaty. You get these at your local butcher shop. Support the local guys. This comes from the Rice Lake Butcher Shop here in Rice Lake. They'll meet your needs. <clears throat> Look at that nice pullback. Whoa, tender, falling apart. I got one open here, folks. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful smoke ring. I don't know if that's picking it up. <laughs> Master built 560, folks. I use pecan and hickory chunks in the box. This is the garlic, pepper, salt. Whoa. Whoa. That's like butter, folks. That's money, man. I didn't really focus on the bark, but it does have a nice bark. <laughs> you know, when you have your family and friends come over to eat ribs, they're not too worried about the bark. They want good, juicy ribs that do not are not dried out. <laughs> Let's see how they taste. Oh, man. That's money, folks. Local butcher shops. Don't go to your local Walmart. Support the little guy. Rice Lake Butcher Shop. Thank you very much. Mmm, good. Now let's try this other one. This is the Weber Rub one. Same thing. Nice, juicy, beautiful rib. Look at that, folks. Wow. You only get this from your local butcher shops, folks. <laughs> wow. That's amazing, folks. Mmm, that rubber, Weber rub is amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the beef short ribs on the Bradley or the Masterbuilt 560. Next video will be on the Bradley. That's coming up in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. Very good. Remember, my videos are about just making food in my backyard. If you feel like it, <clears throat> like the video and hit subscribe, but you'll never hear me beg for a subscriber. I just love doing video. Thanks, folks. Beautiful. Mmm. Look at that. Just money. Money, money, money.